probably the, the most difficult uh, part of the project was making segue into the Hispanic community. Um, because it's a very guarded community, um, as you might imagine, and for good reason, people are at this point a little bit afraid to um, make known what their um, immigration status is. They are not very likely to trust someone from the outside, especially a photographer coming in who wants to make photographs of them. My primary objective was to photograph uh, Hispanic immigrants to southwest Detroit. It's really about uh, celebrating who these people are as individuals. Um, my reaction to the kinds of things that I was hearing on the news and reading in the newspaper was um, quite negative and I decided that I had to do something about that as a photographer. I wanted this project to be a kind of cross-section of uh, Hispanic immigrants. So I wanted to photograph people who had been here for a long time, people who had been citizens, um, but I also wanted to photograph people who were new to this community as well, uh, some legal and some uh, undocumented. This gentleman here, Juan, uh, was telling a story about him coming up as a relatively young man through the border um, in a cattle truck and that he was one of about 25 uh, men who were being smuggled um, um, across the border um, at, at that particular time. So this is Maria Diaz. She was working for um, an American woman. She was one of the cleaning ladies in, in her home. Um, the lady liked her so much, she brought her to the United States with the promise that eventually she would assist her in becoming a U.S. citizen. The problem is that once they came to America, uh, the woman refused to um, provide her with the paperwork that she needed to become uh, a citizen. Finally, she ended up uh, running away from this home and began working on establishing uh, citizenship for, on her own. Another individual told the story about crossing the border when she was very, very young uh, with her sister. And in the process of crossing the border at night, um, she lost her little sister. Uh, she remembered what that feeling was like, uh, holding on to her sister's hand and then running with her sister um, and then losing her sister not being able to find her until the next morning. The project, I, I must say that I have to uh, thank uh, two um, entities uh, for making the project possible. The first would be the Kresge Foundation uh, for the grant that I was given to do this project. Um, and also Mac Group was kind enough to loan me a uh, digital uh, camera for um, basically the, the entire summer. Um, in essence what I wanted to do though was to light up the face sort of from a kind of frontal point of view. I used a black seamless uh, backdrop. Um, I own a uh, Profoto uh, strobe system and you know a series of of reflecting cards to light my individual. I used a 150 millimeter lens, so I wanted to capture, if I could, every imperfection, every line in the person's face that would help to symbolically tell uh, the story of their journey to the United States. I want the viewer to think about identity. I think in many cases, every attempt is being made to strip the immigrant's identity from them. And uh, again, my, one of my primary objectives is to celebrate the identity of these individuals. It isn't fair uh, to put all Hispanic immigrants or all immigrants in general into one category and categorize them as as undocumented, illegal, or whatever. Um, it's really, in my mind, about the individual's experience, and that's really what I wanted to kind of uh, attempt to address in my work.